Hello everyone, Sergeant274. In this part of the beginner's guide, we are going to go through the catacombs. Now, we already went through there earlier to get the grave light, or grave light, the grave lord sword. Here is Framped. We can talk to him now. We can say yes, and then we can trade stuff to him. By the way. So there you go. So you can feed him this stuff and he gives you souls or something for it. So, yeah. Alright. Anyway, the catacombs. With this weapon... Now, normally, normally I take a blessed weapon down here, but uh, I believe this should be one-shotting. This should one-shot all the skeletons. Now, it won't kill them right away. A divine weapon will do that. But you would have to grind out um, divine or uh, green shards, which isn't hard to do, honestly. You can do that in the uh, in Blight Town. Okay, so what we need to do is come over here and kill the necromancer that's immediately to our left, right here. Then we're going to come, light this bonfire. Now we're going to make use of the Ring of the Evil Eye in this area. Because like I said, Ring of the Eye will give us, there's going to be a lot of skeletons that we need to kill here. Okay, so first things first. Block these guys. We're going to come over here, two-hand it. Oh my goodness. We completely whiffed him. There we go. Kill the Necromancer. Apparently he's our... <laughs> well, I got invaded too, but it didn't really matter. I got uh, tag-teamed by a bunch of skeletons. There was the invader. We probably would have killed him with the Black Knight uh, helper here. Oh well. But now that the Necromancer is dead, we can kill these guys. He's dead. Dead. Watch out over here. He's dead. Somehow. Jeez. Not as bad as a demon soul skeleton, but still not good. Man, they love flying. A little flying attack, don't they? We'll be it. Really? A couple guys in here. We'll get a weapon. A little CERN. He will die. He will die. That was a flying attack again. He dead. There's an archer up here. It's a rolling falchion. Speaking of falchion, we just got another one. And there's an item right here. A large soul. Alright, so this area is not going to be so good. But this is how you do it. If you don't have a divine weapon. Or a bow. If you have a bow, it makes things there's makes things a lot easier because you can snipe the necromancer. It's over there, but you need to open that or uh, press that lever in order to come through here. Okay, 
he will not die, by the way. And he will not die because... The Necromancer is over here. That we have to kill. Now he's dead. Now we can kill him. All these other guys that are going to come for us. There we go. Double. You can roll off here if you want to. And skip some of the level. Um, uh, you may be able to roll off there too. And skip some of the level. We don't need to do that. But what we're going to do right now. Is we're going to come over here. Drop down. Because up here. Are two um, crystal lizards. So, like I said, they were right here. All you have to do to bring them back. Save and quit. Like so. And as soon as you log in or spawn in. There's one. And wait for the other one. There's the other one. Now uh, you've killed uh, both crystal lizards. Congratulations. And this just takes you right back to where we were. You'll see in a second where we drop down from here. Right up here. Drop down. And we're right by where that soul was. So we're gonna, whoops. Wow. <laughs> you can say we're gonna heal, but then we almost died thanks to that guy. Right, we're gonna actually heal twice here. Because the next area, immediately when we go in there, there's gonna be more skeletons and uh, we haven't killed the necromancer yet for them. That was. Well, pff, I just got stabbed by him. <laughs> okay. So in here, you just gotta run around these guys. There's gonna be a skeleton here that's kind of blocking our way. But there's the goal right there. Kill that guy. Anyone else that decides to come in this room. This will open up the door. If we go down there, you can get the uh, blacksmith. There's a there's a new bonfire down there. You can get the blacksmith that um, helps you out with like fire weapons and chaos weapons and whatnot. Uh, but that's the door we opened. In here, there's going to be a few skeletons that pop up. See, there's one. There's two, three, got a soul, now we can go back up here and grab the other items, there's a soul in here, don't get too close to it, because of that, and there's just a skeleton in here, I thought there was a skeleton there, maybe he already came out, I don't know, okay, so you can go down there, that's where you would, uh, uh, that's actually a good way to go, you want to skip a lot of things but we don't want to skip things right now so don't go that way come over here and you see where we are here right we got to open that so to open that we're going to come up here and now if you if because we came through here earlier quickly uh, Patches is now gone, but there's an NPC here called, his name is Patches, he'll ask if you're a cleric or not. You can say yes or no. Um, he, as soon as you go over this bridge, he will turn it. 
So I'll show you what to do if you have patches. We don't have patches here, but uh, I'll show you what to do. So here's a bonfire. Uh, we will light this bonfire and rest here. All right. Oh my goodness. So if patches is up there, you won't be able to run all the way across. So what you have to do is run then come over here, roll off to the side. And this is actually good because you get the Great Scythe, which is actually a really good weapon. Just be wary that when you come back down, you're going to be right over here. It's going to be on the other side of that, really. So now we're on the other side of that. We're actually going to go back up. We can't kill these guys, by the way. Oh my gosh. And the reason we can't kill these guys... Oh my lord. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll show you how to get back here. We're just going to be on the other side of that fog wall, basically. So we definitely want our humanity back. So we died right over here. You can see our blood stain is right there. Okay, we don't want anyone here. What we want to do we want to pick up our blood stain. We kind of want to pick up our blood stain first. Where is it again? It's down there. Okay, bye. That's a bad area for our blood stain, by the way. It's a really bad area for it. So we're gonna just we're just gonna go get our blood stain. Come in the other side. to do is come over here. Wow, we got hit. Watch out for all these guys. Heal. And we're going to come for the Dark Moon stuff. We've got to hit, hit this tomb. Lure those guys to one side. And then turn to the left. Turn to the right. <laughs> Turn to the left, two-hand it, and get ready to whack a necromancer who's right here. Watch out, he'll have a friend right there. And be prepared for anyone who wants to come up these stairs. Right now is no one. Alright, so before going that way, which is just back to where you came in from, uh, at least that wall, that breakable wall area, that's where that is. You're going to come all the way up here. And grab Tranquil Walk of Peace Miracle. Alright, so we're going to go back down here. Instead of falling through there, if we fell through right there, that will take us up to the very top of this level. So that's a quick way up. If you've uh, somehow locked yourself out, you can't go over one of those bridges, which is possible. Oh man. Okay. That was not good. Okay, we, we're gonna kill this guy. There we go. Where we want to be, I guess I went down a little too far, is back here. Because then we can just hop off and uh, go through the level that way. But, 
what we're going to do is we're going to head back where we came from and we're going to hit up the bonfire that I talked about earlier There's, this is the only way to uh, to activate it it's through here so we're backtracking now so in order to get this bonfire all we want to do is walk walk again and jump off we're gonna heal just in case someone follows us in here jump down cutscene I'll let you watch it and then you have this bonfire which we're not gonna rest at but anyway here's this blacksmith and you can buy some stuff with him. Homeward Bones, Titanite Shards, the armor box, or repair box. He has arrows. But the big thing what he does is, like I said, he does the, um... Whoops. He does no weapons for ascension, but he does fire and chaos. Alright, now this is a bad area over here. What I mean by that is the fact that there's bone wheeled skeletons everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here and die. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just a bad area. All those silly bone wheels are there. Problem is now all of our souls are down there. So we have to do we have to go back that way now. So that was a goof by me. I should have just stayed down there. Again, just jump. 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 We'll heal just in case. And you know what? Let's uh let's rest at this bonfire. And let's find our souls. There really is no good way to fight these guys. Got three of them. There's two more over here. Run after them. This is the way to pinwheel. go. There's a couple more over here. Our Black Knight friend is up there. We want the sword. We want the Great Axe from. Let them finish rolling. Okay, there's one more over here. Do not want him interfering with our Black Knight. Great Axe. Attempt. So let's check. Okay. Black Knight Great Axe dude is up here. We're gonna throw on the Hornet Ring. We're gonna come over here. You'll see him. He will jump down. Here he comes. Keep your fingers crossed. We have ten humanity. Come on. He's having troubles. He's literally doing a pirouette. I 
I can't. I can't make this up. Okay. He's real easy to backstab. Look at that. 10 humanity and we did not get one of my favorite weapons in the game. Is that unbelievable? Whatever. Alright, from here go to your left. There's the last necromancer. And from here... We re there really is no need to come up here, but this is just the way you could come down if you didn't take that little shortcut by the... Um, fire uh, blacksmith. If you fall down there, you will meet the black knight. That's his little perch. I think there's an item there actually too. Which we'll go get. But you can see right in here is the titanite demon. He's right down there. That's where we got the eye of death. And this tomb here is where we got the Grave Lord sword earlier. And what we're going to do is we're going to go this way though. And we are going to put our rolly ring on. Because we're going to come back out. If you're in human form, all I have to do here, hop down, and um, you would have a summon right here if you were human. Jump off here. And there's the mace and the priest stuff. Alright. Since we already killed everyone, we can go back over here. And we'll get that last item. Unfortunately, the route back through the catacombs it won't be too bad, actually. be annoying but it's not too bad because we can't warp out of here we don't have the blood vessel blood vessel the lord vessel so this is where mr. black knight is and you find the soul of a proud knight there so if you want the black knight great axe early on in the game that's where you would have to navigate to Okay, so we're going to go take on Pinwheel now, and killing Pinwheel will allow us to get, um, to kindle the bonfire all the way up to 20, we can have 20 Estus Flasks. So first things first, cool cutscene, we're just going to go right after him here, he does do fire damage. We do want to heal, because his fire damage did a ton of damage to us. <laughs> it's pretty easy. However, if he gets, like, you know, two or three illusions of him in here, um, he can be tricky. Mask of the Father, which actually helps, because it's equipment burden. But we're not going to put it on. The daddy mask looks a little silly. I'll show you it. Where is it? Mask of the Father. There it is. <laughs> looks kind of goofy. But I guess we could put uh, more, more clothing on now. Maybe. Yep. So it did help out. No, it didn't. Look at that. He lied. Wow, that really didn't do anything. Forget you, then. Okay. So, if you continue on, you're going to be in the Tomb of the Giants. And we can't do anything in the Tomb... Well, you can do some things in Tomb of the Giants, but you'll eventually be blocked by another yellow gate. So now, all that's left to do is to run out of this place. 
And I'm going to keep the recording going to show you how to run out of this place. I did not purposely homeward bone because I didn't want all these bone wheels to come back to life. So to run out of here, quickest way at least that I can think of, is up this ladder. Nope, don't do that. <laughs> up this ladder. Out through here. I'm going to turn left. Good thing is all the necromancers are dead, so we can kill, and kill all these skeletons. We have to go up here. Okay, we don't necessarily need that. Put that back on. I just wanted to kill those guys so I wouldn't die. Backstab damage here. You can see this guy just wants to play the combo game. Jeez. Okay, so we could go back up this way. Like I said, you could also go that way and uh, pretty quickly get out. We'll just run it back the safe way. Which is up here. Then through here, you're off to the right, come down, look to your right again, shield out, watch out for these guys. Wow, that did a ton of damage. Heal up, watch out for Demon Souls roly poly skeleton there, apparently. Come back here, rest of the bonfire, level up. There you go, that's the catacombs. I think we got every item in there, including the crystal lizards. Also, we can probably reinforce our weapon. I can find our weapon. Look at this. Ton more damage. Ton more damage. Need four twinkling to get to plus five. Awesome. All right. In the next video, we will. Uh, what do we have to clean up still? We have to um, do the hydra. I want to do the hydra before we leave. And I'll think of anything else that we've uh, missed along the way. So hydra and um, anything else, and then sense fortress. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.